What's up everyone, this is The Raw Truth coming at you with another video. And in this video, it's, you know, I've talked about in videos and other guys talked about in videos how black women have a lust for white men and how the white man has a different standards for black women than the black man themselves. And when you look at my series, The Myth of the Missing Black Fathers, I expose why, um, how black men came in number one. No, we, we come in number one and taking care of our kids. Even as stepfathers, we come in number one and taking care of our kids. How all that propaganda and myth of a black woman saying that the black man don't take care of their children and the black man, you know, he just don't care. He just fuck women and, and, and leave and shit. And we have to deal with the 74 percent homes fatherless. And one thing that needed to be added to that 74 percent homes that are fatherless is, well, it's going to explain itself in this article. Now, the article is called, and it's written by the New York Post. It's called, Professor Who Donates Sperm in City Bathrooms Has Sired 22 Kids. And this article was on June 12, 2016. Now, you think about a professor who is this professor he's he's a Brooklyn math professor so this was in New York Ari Nagel or Nagel that's A-R-I-N-A-G-E-L you will see it in uh, you will see it because it will be part of the uh, the headline the part of my video so here it is right here and as I'm reading, I'm going to break down some shit, you know, to let you know how much of a hypocrite that these black bitches are. You know, nothing, I mean, it, nothing shocks me anymore when it comes to black woman. Nothing shocks me at all. And you're looking at the meme right now of that guy who fathered 22 kids. And I'm going to tell you how he fathered 22 kids. And this is going to really explain why black women lead in number one in AIDS and HIV and STDs because they're too fucking dumb, dumbass stupid. And this says here on a busy night last week at, at the Target on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn, Ari Nejo, 40 years old, emerged from the men's bathroom looking a little flushed and quite pleased with himself. Notice it starts off saying a little flush and quite pleased with himself. You know, coming from a bathroom in fucking Target. What the fuck are you doing in the bathroom at Target leaving pleased with yourself? Oh, but the article goes on and it gets better. It's better with it's fresh, he told them. What is it better? What is better when it's fresh? You'll find out. It is now Joe Seaman, and it's in demand. Not nay, Joe Seaman, his semen, his sperm. So he was in the bathroom at fucking Target, whacking off, hoping to get a bullseye. And the bullseye is these bitches who 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 is uh collecting his semen. <clears throat> And it says, and it's in demand. The six foot two, Cooney, uh, uh, Cooney, C U N Y, uh, Kensington, uh, uh, excuse me, Kensboro Math Professor has served as a sperm donor for dozens of locals, siring 22 kids over the past 12 years with 18 women of various backgrounds. So here it is that this man's jacking off. No, he's beating the monkey. You know what I'm saying? He's spanking the monkey. He's beating the meat in the bathroom. 
and no, and 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 he's doing it in the in the bathroom. He's doing it in the restroom. And after he done got done though no stroking like that song, I be stroking. That's what I be doing. I be stroking. <laughs> I be stroking in the bathroom, stroking in Target, stroking till I can sire these kids. I be stroking. Yeah, that's what he be doing. He be waxing gibbous. That's a moon phrase. But anyway, this motherfucker sired 22 kids over the past 12 years with 18 women of various backgrounds. For lesbian couples and single ladies looking to have a baby without the expense of going through a sperm bank. Now, see, these bitches, you have to understand. I, I, I guess why... I, that's why I can't stand the fucking gay people and fucking lesbians. You want a fucking child. It's natural for ladies to want a child. But yet you don't want a man there. You see how they're keeping the man out? They rely on this white man to do it, huh? So these lesbians, he, 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 um, he's siring children with. And this says a single lady who's looking to have a baby without the expense of going through a sperm bank. Or the expense of just... Finding a husband. So he's cutting the husbands out for the single ladies. And we all know, according to stats, that 90% of the crimes is coming from single mothers. And it says, um, which can run in the thousands of dollars. He's the number one dad. No, he is not no fucking number one dad. How the fuck can you call yourself a number one dad? When you're not going to be around to take care of these babies. Well, you're not. Well, you didn't even marry any other woman to have a baby with. Fucking all these women and having children. Let this be a black man. What the fuck you think they're going to do with him? They'll rake his ass over the fucking coals like they did them three guys in Tennessee who were no good the same as this dumbass motherfucker who ain't no good and shit. They raked those three black men uh, uh, through the coals, called them deadbeats, and followed them in courtrooms and shit like that. But now this article said that this motherfucker is a number, number one motherfucking dad. Get the fuck out of here. Then it says, this isn't time consuming, and I'm doing it anyway. He says of his hands on hobby, it's very easy for me to do. You know, I understand what he just said. He said he's already doing it. What is he already doing? He's already fucking beating his meat. He's jacking the fuck off. So he's letting you know it's easy for him to do it. Because, you no, know, he, he, he jacks off all the fucking time. So, you know, that's his hobby. That's what he do. You know what I'm saying? People have hobbies, sometimes pick up a book, they'll probably build something, they probably sell water ice, you know what I'm saying? They probably, you know, do arts, some kind of hobby. Well, this motherfucker hobby is beating his meat. Beating his meat. And he a Brooklyn math professor. Probably counting every time he stroke his fucking meat. And multiply that by ten. Or excuse me, by seven. See how many strokes he could do in a week of multiplying that. And then probably dividing that bitch. You nasty, trifling ass motherfucker. Then it says, his oldest child now is 12 years old. Was conceived with a woman he was in a committed relationship with. But all of his offspring since, he says, have resulted from his donations. Isn't it somehow how women were no period that want to have kids without the father, but then complain when kids when the kids go bad, and then everybody's looking at what the fuck is going on with the kids because of shit like this. This shit's dangerous because now the child the and the thing about it is because it's in New York and shit like that. A lot of freaky shit got on there going on in New York. And it says, and half the time, he provides his seed the old-fashioned way. 
Sometimes a lesbian looking to conceive with her partner in the bed for moral support while she and Nadja engage in intercourse. So he's not only fucking jacking off, but he's fucking these women. How the fuck these are lesbians and he's fucking a lesbian? Uh, see, see the fucking confusion? If you're a lesbian, stay the fuck a lesbian. Why the fuck you have an intercourse with a man? That's a bisexual. See how confused these motherfuckers are? So now it's just a random guy, never been checked out for AIDS. They don't even know if he had AIDS, herpes, whatsoever. They don't give a fuck. Whenever these these women, these bitches want to do shit, they don't give a fuck about their bodies because they would not. They 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 wouldn't allow a man. To just enter their body like that. They don't give a fuck about the children. Because how can you sit up there. And have children with a guy. Who's not going to really take care of them. And it says. She never slept with a guy before. So the partner in bed. Holding her hands. Nigel explained. Sometimes it could be a little painful. But after a few times. They're comfortable to do it on their own. Other times he supplies his goods. In a cup. Which he prefers. So. He's either fucking these ladies or he's doing his service and putting it in a cup. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to understand this article is making him out, you know, to be some kind of hero and shit. But I don't call that hero. No, in the article, it tells you uh, on the, in the cover of New York Post, it says great balls of sire, New York. Professor donates free sperm in public restrooms, has 22 kids and counting. And it's showing a number one dad. Now, you're a fucking loser. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> then, it's, then he says, I'm not doing it for easy action, Nasia says. Isn't that what Tinder is for? I'm not doing it for easy action, but the motherfucking bitches that this dumbass met. We're fucking easy. Said how often he, oh, excuse me, he often uses public bathrooms like those at Target and at Starbucks shops to procure his samples and hand them off to old overladen women. That's why you motherfuckers, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why you motherfuckers better start carrying hand sanitizers and shit and stop touching fucking doorknobs and shit. Use your shirt or use paper towels or whatsoever it is just to open up these fucking doors because these bitches are just so fucking trifling like these dumbass motherfuckers are. No telling they would have took a shit, not washed their fucking hands and walked right the fuck out the bathroom and you come down sick and shit and you wonder what the fuck is going on with you. You're running a damn fever, but you don't, you think you ate something. Well, you probably been ejected with something that, you know, it, it's just so... Uh, all germs and bacteria and shit. You know, I mean, Dad, you gotta protect yourself. Now this motherfucker, he does it in Target. He he jacks off in Target. You know, trying to hit a bullseye. Then he go uh, to Starbucks, ho hoping hoping to bust an espresso and shit to procure his samples and hand them off to overlating women. He says you don't want to do it. And one where people are knocking, he notes. In other words, he's looking for bathrooms where it's one at a time. He doesn't want to go to the bathrooms where there's three or four people. You know, there's several stalls and shit. So, be very careful. This is a, You bitches, you some nasty trifling ass bitches. And it says... He will also offer his services in his home near downtown Brooklyn, but mama wannabes are often more comfortable meeting in public. Uh, uh, uh. Meeting in public. So wanna, don't want to go to the house. So wait a minute. Don't trust that going through that to the house shit. But so let's meet in public. So if you can trust this motherfucker to come to his own fucking house, then how can you fucking trust his sample? See, oh, gosh, 
American, these American women, I'm telling you, they are fucking gone. Now I'm coming back with part two to, to finish it off, but um, might add another part to it because, see, you, you have to understand this, this is some sick ass shit and they are touting this as if it's good. And like the article said, uh, the front cover says, great balls of sire. Get the fuck out of here. There be balls of fire. I'll be back with part two.